see. This week, we are reviewing Igor. I am not Igor, I am Bajwa. Really? Hi, I am a gun. It's, it's you, boy. <laughs> 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 Mark for our reviews. This week we're reviewing Igor. I'm Bajwa. Arnold Seven. It's your boy. Oh god. That was our fifth take. <laughs> Anyways, we're reviewing Igor. <laughs> This is Tyler's fifth album? Sixth album? I can't do math. Oh yeah, no, ba Bastard was the one. This is, this is his sixth album. Nice. Also, Bastard's not on Spotify, I just noticed. It was on that mixtape. Was it? I thought it was that one. Didn't Bastard come out before Goblin? Yeah. It's probably a mix. Because I know that Goblin was the one that, like, that's the club he was being big. That's where he had Yonkers. That's considered him being big. But I was never really into like his music like that because at the time like what they were doing it was not what I was on because I wasn't because like the stuff that they made um, I'm guessing it was considered like kind of like over the edge because they were just you know um, but I wasn't a part of that wave you know um, so I kind of didn't really like fuck with their music because. I kept thinking like, oh, these motherfuckers are just devil worshippers and you know, X Y Z, just weird ass motherfuckers. I was just not like some people, just not regular hip hop and not conscious shit. I didn't want no parts of just like the new way that they were doing because I was scared that I'm gonna end up liking it and then I'm gonna end up like like having to be someone like that. I didn't think I was. I, I didn't know it was in me. Yeah, someone inside you. Nah, it's just, it's like, so it's like when you try certain shit and then you end up liking it and then you get scared, it's like, damn, I'm kind of scared, but I actually like doing shit like this. And then you start to like, what does that tell me about myself? So I was just kind of just like scared to like kind of like explore that other side of myself in terms of just like music, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I think I finally kind of like when um, they dropped their... A uh, feature tape? Yeah, like a group tape, and then that's when I was like, they're dope as fuck. That's when you realize Earl looks just like you. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I feel the same though. That's when I was just like, you feel, yeah. But that's when I started fucking with high G beats. That was the, pretty much the only like reason why I was really fucking with them, because I saw like, out of like, all of like the... Like the people in the group, I felt like he was like the more like normal one, you know, like Frank Ocean. Yeah, for me, the only reason why I started listening to music was Leader Squad. Honestly, I thought with uh, the videos they're trying way too hard to be edgy. I really didn't feel like you know that was them. Like yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rape bitches and shoot schools and shit. But then like fuck, they're funny as fuck. Burn shit. Yeah. They were just ahead of their time in terms of just like sense of humor and how they play the music, but they didn't give a fuck. So, yeah, but they're trying so hard to give a fuck, or not to give a fuck, that they gave too many fucks. But I'm not trying to get off And that's a critical mistake. Because right now we're talking about odd futures about Tyler. Even well, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of relevant. It is relevant. Tyler was a though, for the most part. To, um, I, didn't, I did not like Tyler when I listened to him first. Nope. Because... I thought the Yonkers, but that was, I was just like, even now I was just like, ooh, it broke too. Because we will merge it, fuck school. Sorry, that's what I was trying I to find. Shit, points. Um, no, because when I was listening to him, I was at a very white school. Yeah. And I didn't want to believe that the white people knew what they were talking about. But they were the main one who listened to that. Exactly. So, like, at first I'm like, no, nah, y'all don't know what you're saying. And honestly, I still don't really like his older stuff, just because it's loud. It's like just, the distortion, yeah. distortion doesn't really, I'm not a huge fan of, on previous projects. Right. But on this one, the it's distortion is, well, I mean, there's distortion still, it's good, yeah. but it's more refined. It's, it's less yeah. that he, it's less that he's, uh, he has no control over the sounds because he's a, 
is a kid. Right. But that and it's more that he's doing it intentionally and it makes sense. It's just just weird because it's like it's just like you can see like the growth in him as like a person as well. Because you can see like he's not on like that weird ass way anymore when you know hello like well, I don't even want to say like, de- like, don't even want to say demonic, because I don't even think that's what they were trying to portray. But it was just more of just. Like, you did have an upside down cross in the story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, let's just say. Yeah, that's not let's just demonic. Say demonic. No. But it's just weird to see that you go from making Yonkers, and then you drop like a fucking flower boy at Eeyore. Yeah, it's weird as fuck. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a trip because I'm just like bro like it's, I, I don't know it's crazy to me but that evolution I'm trying to figure out like when he started to do that type of wave of music because I know he dropped another project Cherry Bomb yeah I think that's what started it uh, Cherry Bomb was I think was supposed to be the biggest departure yeah. from his last like his previous album yeah because he took a break for, for a while from music before he it was two that. years between Wolf and Cherry Bomb. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was releasing the singles, but like, yeah, it took Kella long for Cherry Bomb to actually drop, is a thing. Alright. That's, that's, that's crazy. But it's a dope project. I fuck with the project in terms of just the production. It's different as well, too, because it reminds me more of just like an instrumental tape. And um, if you know me, like, you know that I love this instrumental. I could just vibe to that shit. So it reminded me of just like an HML tape with probably like one or two phrases on, on the beat and it just gets just like I mean like a regular instrumental. Yeah, it, was, it was dope as fuck. I was surprised because I don't really listen to Tyler, you know, like his music. Um, but I was just like, you know, let me just go ahead and give it a shot and see what it is. And I fuck with it. So that's my two cents in the project. Hopefully I could listen to more of his music. I just never been on that wave. I just feel kind of bad now because yeah. I'm just now starting to kind of get kind of like right there where I should have been. But, you know, we all, we all got our times. We all find, find a way. I don't think you're talking about the music anymore. That's okay. No, yeah, I'm just talking about. <laughs> He's kind of like looked off in the distance. Because <laughs> I was just sad thinking shit. like, yeah, because it just sucks. Because I'm just. You weren't on him like that. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel like, damn, bro, you don't fuck with Tyler. He's from LA, and he's, you know, I'm just like. I mean, he was just doing his own thing, bro. He was doing his own thing, and I wasn't with it. That's fair. I wasn't with. It. You know, Tyler's changed, but so if I I used to um, walk up in my actual high school I you were Minecraft like, T-shirt. Talking about Tyler. <laughs> what? Yeah, talk about Tyler. Don't talk about you. Talk about Tyler. Okay, well I'm just saying like I I'm I changed. I don't wear Minecraft T-shirts. He's also changed. Like he this is a very dramatic change if you compare like you know bastard to uh, to this shit. You are Iger. Yeah. What do you are? Yeah. It literally just means ugly. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't say Bodhi or anywhere. I have a pen. I like it. It's you know what this tape was probably also reminding me of? Hmm. Like What did the problem it remind you of? It it's like of, if you made wings a whole It kind of reminded me of Jim Smith's his album Sorry. Yeah, Sire. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of Sire. With really? less lyrics. Yeah, really? Because... And this album, he's portraying like a person, like a person. He's Igor. Yeah, like a person. And Sire, that's kind of what Jake Smith is doing. Yeah. At least you see it's consistent with that idea, like playing a character or like someone. Tyler, like, yeah. yeah. He continues that pretty well across all of his albums, actually. Yeah. Well, that's actually one thing consistent. That and then he raps in like one and a half songs. Yeah, he yeah. raps on most of the songs. Um, anyways, <laughs> I love this album. 
I listened to it at first and the first couple of tracks threw me off because it sounded like there was no rapping. But there was rapping. It was just very quiet. I think I think I was more just trying to absorb the album as a whole at first. But I was definitely confused by the time like fuck that's a long ass title. Um, exactly what you run from, you end up chasing. Mm, okay, I like that. Like, it was an interlude. It was yeah, literally, that's all it fucking said. <laughs> um, but, when, like, up until that, I was like, or right when that came on, I'm like, this is really weird. Why the fuck is it just instrumentals the whole way through? But then, running out of time and everything. Everything after running out of time just banged hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> until gone. Gone, gone. Thank you. And the, like, the last three tracks. Now for me, like running out of time, I was feeling, but not nah, definitely where it hit like a boy's a gun, and then after that, I'm like, that's oh, definitely shit. where it was more. Um, Jesus Christ, dismissed. that's definitely where it was more of a rap album. Yeah, when it started picking up, because yeah. if you're looking at it as a Tyler album, like I don't know, you have the, like these expectations on it. What even? What was that? I was just fucking with the camera. But anyways, if you're looking at this shit, like, as a Tyler album, like, just pretending he's a fucking different person, honestly. Yeah. Just because, um, this, like, yeah, his music's changed, but it's, like, in, like, slight, you know, like, you know, shifts. It's a very gradual shift. Like, I mean, like, you, you've across seen, his albums. Yeah, like, you've seen shit, like, you know, like, that slow pace, you know, like, you know, vibe me shit, like, throughout his discography, but those were usually, like, the one-offs, but now it's, like, Nothing but like the one-off tracks is the thing. Yeah, and that's actually what was pretty interesting about it. Like the, because Trump a little. Yeah. Before he before it dropped, he wanted. He put out like. Uh, like a, a message. Or, yeah, a yeah. He said this is not. Um, it's not bastards. It's not goblin. It's not wolf. Not cherry bomb. Not flower boy. It's Igor. Um, Igor. It's pronounced Igor. Igor? Um, <laughs> Anyways, he's basically saying like it's not going to sound like any of his previous projects. And he wanted people to go into it and just listen to the album for what it is. And not Don't, to yeah, I thought he was no, having no. the fuck out of it. Be serious. No, well that and like he said, he's basically saying like don't do anything like to distract yourself while you're doing this or listen to the album. Like, just listen to it straight through while you're, like, walking or driving home or whatever. So, I mean, that's what I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I drove home, and I, I was just listening to the whole thing. I'm like, by the end, I'm like, this is a beautiful album. Yeah, it was nice. It's perfectly arranged, the quality, but it, it just made me, because with this project, it's, it's more heavily focused on the, the, the instruments, of course. Yeah. So... I feel like to put a project together like that, it takes skill because a lot of these projects is hit or miss. It's either you got good lyrics or you got good quality and you got okay beats, but it's never just you don't hit all three. Like you don't get fucking like just crazy ass quality production and just effects and quality. It's just crazy. So he really excelled with that. Yeah. For real, like, <clears throat> it's, it definitely wasn't anything that he's done before. Like, he may have done bits and pieces of this mm-hmm. on his previous works. Like, when Igor's theme came out, people were like, oh, this just sounds like Cherry Bomb. Yeah. Which makes sense, because it's got the heavy drum, um, the reverb and shit. Yeah. Um... But then, like, the rest of the album, like, it, you can kind of sprinkles the shit that he's been doing in the past. But there's definitely, I feel like, three distinct parts of it. Like, there was the first part that was started with Igor's theme up till the long-ass track name that I mentioned earlier. Then, running out of time to What's Good. Mm-hmm. Those are just, like, the heavy hitters. And yeah. then the last three tracks were more of, like, Kind of close out tracks. I mean, they are close out tracks, but they kind of they're there to wrap up the story yeah. of Igor. <laughs> Which I mean, there's something. It's still haven't fully deciphered it, I guess. 
But it, like everyone's kind of thinking, it's just like, oh, it's just, it's just a love story. He's just sad. Anyway, it's him, Igor. Yeah. Igor. Um, yeah, nice. Good job, Tyler. It was a pretty solid album. Fucking trash. Hey, you're really solid. Yeah. Like, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> is, yeah. it is this insane? You know what? Yeah. I, at first I didn't like Gone Gone. It's not like an off-brand Kimmy Dawson, but I, I, I've come to like it, actually. With that, I, so I mean, I, I still don't really like the last couple tracks just because I can't listen to it all the time, but I appreciate what they are. Anyways, we'll just kind of wrap up on this review. Yeah, and then let's go to that. Uh, that one's actually pretty short. It's, yeah, it's like just under 40 minutes, 39 minutes. I don't know, I was expecting something like way longer. How long was Flowerway? Flowerway was decently long, right? Never mind, it was only 46 minutes, so barely any longer. Um, but no, it was it was fun. It was a fun listen. I like the instrumentals. Oh, perfect. Everything just kind of fit well. Kanye's verse on Puppet didn't really fit well though. Yeah. Um, I really liked. Playboy Cardi shit. Yeah, and Uzi on Igor's theme. Um, Frank Ocean was on one song, but it wasn't very obvious. What? Which one was that? I, I don't remember honestly. I think it I think it was running out of time. Mm-hmm. The only one with actual singing on it that wasn't Tyler distorting his voice. Also, Tyler doesn't like his voice, and that makes me upset because I like his voice. It seems like a lot of artists like they really because like they're really insecure about their Yeah. He has such a distinct voice though, like I feel I would like him to use it more. Um anyways, project was good. I w- um, yeah. I was really expecting him. I was really expecting him to do more rapping though. Right. Because after Flower Boy, he raps. dropped Okra. Like that track was hard as hell. Or that shit that he did with ASAP. Right. Um, and uh, he was talking. Salad. Oh, when he fucking the the shit he did with with, with ASAP when they were like in France. Yeah. Potato yeah. salad. That's what it's called, right? Yes. I like this album. Oh, we're still recording. Yeah, I'm not done talking about this album. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Earthquake. It's probably my favorite song. But also, New Magic Wand and A Boy Has a Gun. I think it was... Hold on. Was New Magic Wand that he had? Oh, yeah. the That teaser that he had for New, Ma- New Magic Wand was fucking funny as hell. Because halfway through the video, he was just running off into the desert. That should be yeah. weird. Anyways, what do you have to say? What are your favorite tracks? My favorite tracks? Let me see this list. I really did enjoy that little interlude from Exactly What You Run From, you end up, it, you end up chasing. It's a long ass track. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like, the track's name like is the one in the track. Yeah, but I really liked um, A Boy Is A Gun. Really liked Puppet. <laughs> Those are like the two where I was super like most it. into it. I, actually, I like Puppet. Is there something wrong with that? No, no I mean, Fuck yeah. you, Dad. It's not face. It's who I am. Yeah, I, I need a fucking... I need a haircut. Anyway, this boy. Is what, dude, this is the effect of hotel shampoo. Ew, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't... It, it's just... It, I know what you mean. Yeah, Your boy. I like Earthquake, and I like Running Out of Time. Um, running Out of Time. Running Out of Time. I actually really didn't like and it. Then, um, and then I like um, the, the, the other one, I, the exactly what you want from, you know, that shit. And then I, like, and then I also like I Think, too. I, yeah, actually. I, I like that. Are we still friends, actually? Mm-hmm. I liked it, but like, I mean, like I said, I don't really like going back to the last three mm-hmm. tracks. I'm all, I'm, it's always closing tracks for me, honestly. I feel like what I'm going to do is I'm going to all time the creators' album. You're actually going back? I'm gonna go back to all his fucking albums, but I'm gonna get high and listen to it, so I can just kind of like really just like make shit worse for myself and just try to try to really analyze it. Try to try to overanalyze. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna watch the President Mesh T-shirt sketch at least twenty times. In did a row. you did you listen to Flower Boy? No. I mean, I heard some of it, but I just got tired. It was just I, I just wasn't just like I'm just like man. Honestly, I'm not really trying to. Anyways, Tyler, this was a good album. I like it. This was a good album. Yeah. 
I need more of this. Honestly, after Flower Boy, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> that show's good. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Listen to this album. Oh.